this is um I'm gonna teach y'all how to play Mountfall. Say okay, I don't really wanna have like a different account because I'm lazy. But say you're at Frostfall, you've asked someone for money, you've bought whatever weapon of your choice, then you're like, what do I do now? Alright, so first things first, you want to set your spawn here by talking to this NPC. It, it's free. You can always, if you're ever low and not in combat, you can sit here and get your weapon, how much HP, your incantation, armor, your race, how many kills you have. Uh, usually, I would recommend, if not ask begging people for money, but you'll need insight, to go this way, past the weapons merchant, onto this bridge. Also, private servers. Um, if you can afford one, and you think you're going to like this game, I'd get one, because it's 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 very useful you can farm without having to worry about other people killing you you have all the monsters and drops to yourself only downside is that drops in private servers for like bosses and stuff slightly lower or not slightly significantly all right so once you've gone down this path you can find some monsters on here if you kill them you get Rotted eyes that you can sell. Okay, hold on. Good. Okay. Yeah, over time, we'll get more skills and different weapons. Uh, as of the time I'm making this video, however, chests are currently bugged. Um, don't interact with them. You can't open them. I mean, you might be able to, but. Once you've gotten your rotted eyes, you want to very slowly make your way up this rope. And I don't think there's any way to go faster, because as of, this is like, the, the, the day after, like, they shut down the game after release because of Agamatsu. Or something is, I don't know what actually happened. But you make your way back to Frostfall, and then you're going to get... Just make your way back to Frostfall. You can sell. You can always go back and forth. There's a slight cooldown on those guys respawning. I don't know how long it is exactly. It's it's a decent cooldown though. So in the meantime, you can like ask people for more information. But I'll try and cover as much stuff as I, as I can. All right. So now that you're back in Frostfall, you're probably gonna be low. So but if you aren't, you just let me know. Then you want to come down here. Oh, and that war horn noise, it's um. I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you later. Come down to this guy, talk to him. And then while you have some parts, you talk to him again. And he gives you insight and some coins. And then what you want to do with these coins and the insight is if you didn't already when you kill those guys with your bare fist, you, you get a weapon. But you, I'd take these stairs. They're way faster than climbing up the rope. You first talk to this girl with the potion hut. And then you click sure. And she'll give you an incantation. It's basically magic. Uh, there's random types. Mine heals me, but it sets me on fire, so there's a chance that I might not get any heals. And then, over here, you can purchase a spear, katana, a lantern. It's The lantern's not too useful once you get better at knowing the map. And then, there's a long sword here. There's more weapons out here. Alright, so once you have that, it's pretty simple what you want to do. You can either continue to go back and farm those guys. It'll take forever. And I'd also recommend grabbing some armor, which is any of these for now. Or not those. You come over to this bridge. Make your 
way across it. There is a secret armor that gives, I believe it's 20, maybe 25 HP. It's decent starter armor. It's way better than that armor you can buy at that town. It's right down here. You can hold E to buy. I don't know if I can make it back up here. All right, good. Uh, pro tip. The parkour in this game is very, very annoying. It's not fair at all. But if you're, no matter what distance you're falling from, if you can grab into a wall and start a climb like this, you'll completely negate fall damage. Doesn't matter how high or how long you've been falling from, you can completely negate all fall damage. And then, once you have that, I would recommend going to this place over here, talking to this girl. If you don't have enough money, uh, you can go kill some more uh, little toad guys. Open it. You have to be not too quick, but if you wait for too long and you go under that gate, there's a chance it'll crush you. I would recommend walking on this sideways, or you can like slowly, you know... I walk on it sideways, and then here, jump here. There is a little gap, so I just go up these, right there. And then where we're going now, it's to a little dungeon. Uh, and don't walk on the actual bridge, like ever. You want to walk on the sides. I mean, you can walk on the actual bridge. You just have to be really fast, or this it'll fall under you very likely that it falls under you you can tell if something's like destructible if it has little particles like you see that one has little white particles this one oh, does it have white? this one won't break as you can see this one will break yeah. so you can tell if most most stuff is destructible and you after taking that you take a left can come up here sorry and then slowly climb your way up. not no, not really too slowly oh uh, your race doesn't matter too much in this game I mean they're all some of them are downright horrible but they're all good in their own ways and then you jump from here come down here climb up this little path and you talk to this guy And he'll teleport you somewhere. You'll get this black screen for a little bit. It's just like, I don't know what exactly what it's doing. It's teleporting you here. It might be like loading in. All right, so there's somebody already doing this dungeon. So you just wait for them to finish. Now, you don't have to do this first part, I don't believe. You can go around to the right. And there's like a little secret entrance where you don't have to fight these guys at first. Um... You just wait normally. Wait for the thing. To... I'm gonna pause. Uh, clip back to him. You know. All right. So this took absolutely forever. There's gonna be uh, five NPCs and then a little mini boss. They're very easy. The only actual issue is. Mini -boss boss can actually whoa 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 I am boss can actually do some damage if you don't parry them right? and this game also he is honestly this boss as of right now it bugs very often and the mini boss is actually harder than the normal boss.
There are, I don't know which weapon would probably be best for grinding, but this one is not it. This is more of like a uh, PvP weapon. Yeah, this boss bugs very, very often. He just won't move. There is a small chance that, you know, he won't bug. He can also spawn in five little minions. Sometimes he can spawn do that more than once. I've had a one time where he spawned in ten minions. They're not too bad. You can, like, two-shot them with most weapons. These trolls, you don't really want to fight them. They're very hard to kill. You can usually just lure them into the lava. Or just run past them. They don't they don't swing too fast, but they delay like crazy. And then you get a bunch of insight and money. And then you just you repeat that for a while until you get something most of the time. It, the game is very grindy, which I can't, it can be a turn off for most people to stop playing, but it, it's worth it. Uh, okay, so say you've done all of that, you've got your preferred weapon, you got your armor, stuff like that. Next is you've probably farmed a lot. You got a lot of this. You can go farm at the incantation girl and get what your your preferred incantation. Mine is cleansing flame cuz I like heals. Having a heal move is very nice. It doesn't heal too much. It's not too busted, but it's nice. So you make your way back into the tundra, you carefully maneuver, and this time we're going to go fight a different boss. This boss is a lot, Th this boss is way easier to fight compared to the, the manor boss, okay? You go this way instead of that way, that guy's going to go fight manor, jump over here, Jump down here, boom. And then you want to hug from here. You want to hug this wall. Start a wall climb. Jump in. Somebody's already in here. Yeah, if there's somebody already in there, this door will be closed. You can just wait. It's not very often that people are in there for a long time. They're probably re-rolling their... Yeah, this is also where you can re-roll your race. Uh, I'm gonna pause. Uh, I'll come back once this door is open. The door has opened. Uh, I don't have a lantern, so I can't really show too much. I have to, like, stare at my screen a certain way so I get the best lighting. So you come down here, make a left. You should be facing this. There is a, a... I don't... I've never fought him before. I don't know if he's strong or anything. There is an enemy that wanders around here. He won't aggro onto you unless you attack him, I guess. So make a left down that corridor and then come down here. Talk. This guy is who you get race rerolls from, the first option. And then the, the next boss battle is to send you to the abyss. This is where you can wipe your build, get certain weapons, armor, and yeah, stuff like that. Once you're in here, this part confused me at first too, because this is like updated. You climb up here. And then, yeah. And there's a little thing, if you take too much fall damage, you can always come back. And anytime you die, whatever armor piece you had on, you have to put it back on. <coughs> so, I usually take this way. Here, dash, and 
run all the way down here. Jump right here. And you should end up at this bridge. It should be like a little tree here. to like almost need a lantern to traverse, to traverse this part but I think they, they brighten the abyss a lot more okay say you can't beat the boss it's too difficult you can come up here climb all the way up here and talk to this guy he'll take insight to return you back and he can actually put you in negative insight so I'd be I'd be kind of careful, but there is no punishment to dying down here, so unless you're, you don't want to do the parkour, which is understandable. The, the parkour in this game is absolutely horrid. But yeah. So you come down here, you jump, you don't want to take the left, there's nothing to the left, not really. Go over here, you dash, jump down. Down that way, um, I'll show that part later. Okay, so as you can see, there's a collapsible floor. Nah. It's supposed to make you take slight fall damage or scare you. Alright, so in here, it's gonna be a little, little mini boss thingy. He's fairly easy. He's essentially like a less beefed up. Like, whenever you're doing manor, that one enemy is a great sword. Not the boss. But it's essentially just a less powerful version of it. But these NPCs, humanoid NPCs, they jump around a lot. here take a right walk across this path uh, there are little parts that fall in as you can see just dash across this one you can't really you, like jump and dash and then this next one you can like completely avoid just dump dash Walk up here. Boom. Then go this way. This part is very annoying because these ropes are slow and terrible to climb, that's for sure. So you slowly make your way up here. Um, you don't lose anything if you die. Not unless you ring a certain bell, which I'll get to later. Continue climbing. I think if you have the two times climb race, you might be able to just climb right up there. I'm not sure. I've never tried. Make your way over here. All right. I do this because if you you fall right down there you won't die unless or you can but you can usually catch the edge and you climb up here now you're this is the hardest part of the parkour in my opinion it's not well it's not difficult it's super annoying and illogical Okay, like, sometimes you can do it perfectly, other times you won't. This part's also annoying because of this stupid little block. I mean, like, look at this, look at this. Come up here, you get caught on the lip, and then you da try and dash on. It's annoying. Okay. Climb backwards. Okay. Uh, a little tip, if you try, if you start sprinting, at the same time and then hold S 
you can sprint in place and this game has a little feature where you here's running normally and then you get momentum after a, a little bit of running you run faster so say you need you think you need a little bit more momentum to make a jump you can like run in place then let go of s and you can start running with pre-built momentum like here yeah momentum jump dash run across here I don't remember where to go from there. Oh, this way. There's someone already doing the boss up there, but it's alright. This boss is also fairly easy. Um, this one, it doesn't bug as much. It's just... It wasn't a well-thought-out boss design. Like, the guy, he hardly turns... Although I imagine they'll they'll soon fix this in a later update. Hopefully. I mean I, I, I like how easy the boss is, but I also want an actual boss, not something that's like free loot. Run up here, dash there. This part Oof. This part you can f for some reason, they didn't make it exactly, so you can, like, clip on it while you're climbing if you're too close to the wall. And it can, like, send you backwards. Jump. This part's very annoying. Build up momentum. Yeah, because half the time, if you don't build up momentum, you're not going to make that jump most of the time. Unless you t perfectly time it. This is also way easier. There's a certain race, it's called Widow, that has two times like this type of climb, and it goes way higher. And you can skip a majority of th this parkour part with it, because you just climb over stuff. All right, from here, you run across this chain. Run across this. Some of these wood will actually break, so I'd build up momentum on all of them. I can't tell if I'm... Is this a moment? Okay, that's a momentum run. This one will also break, I think. Momentum. Doesn't. This one won't break. Okay, now this one, it's like... It's very difficult. So you jump... jump. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's fucking annoying. This, it like... Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, you can completely ignore that part. So look, there's a second piece, like an actual piece of the floor that falls off. This is why I hate this part. Just run. I just messed it up again. This is my least favorite part of the parkour. Oh, you have to dash there, that's right. And you come up here. Those two little... Blocks, they'll break too. Same with this wood. And then this last part, you can knock normally across it. But you can tell right where it switches colors slightly. Right there, it'll break off. So just jump dash. And then you're basically free of the parkour. Climb up here. Right. You can completely here jump here and then you're at the boss room and then you hold E to ignite this flame and there's the boss the crumbling guardian yeah but half the time he won't look at you so it's very easy to hit It doesn't hit you, which is why this boss is extremely easy and a joke. Yeah, but he kind of hurts. I mean, that's also. Oh, I didn't know he could do that. Okay. At 
this weapon isn't. What the f yo? No, that bro, that's not fair. You can't put a differently abled kid. On. I shouldn't have said that. Basically, you just sit here and attack the hell out of this boss. The loot's alright. Um, some of the weapons are good. Marasima does crazy. It does crazy blood damage, and the bosses are absolutely janky. Like, no, the, 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 it's annoying to go up against. The hitboxes are completely in your favor. And then you kill him. Bro, what the f is that? Okay. Got it. Remembrance of Divers. This isn't from the same dungeon. I don't understand how I got this. But, you know. So, I got Ancient Rock. This is part... This is a monster drop. You can sell this. And this is an artifact. Holy crap, I thought I popped it. I got scared. Um, this is an artifact. You can pop these... Some are armor, some are weapons, some are like accessories, like my scarf. Wait, my scarf gives 25 extra HP, I believe. Pretty sure it does. No, it gives 20. So you you can decide what you do with the artifacts. Um, sometimes they're really good. Like my weapon right here, this is an artifact weapon. I love it. It's great for PvP. And mobility. It's got quite some mobility. If you jump and use a move, I'll... Uh, so you take this Remembrance of Divers, or whatever artifact you got. I'd, I'm gonna heal real quick. Now this Ancient Rock, every single time you beat, beat that boss, you get 500 Insight and, uh... 500 coins or whatever the currency is called i don't know what this guy does um pretty sure you buy vent from him yeah this is where you buy health potions Just gonna... so as you can see 290 this should go from from 290 to um Three, four hundred. Yeah. Very useful, and he's very easy to farm as of now, so I'd recommend farming him while he can, because they're going to change him in a bit. I'm going to get up here real quick. So, artifacts. Uh, again, you can either pop them. You can also drop artifacts. I don't know about the hard mode exclusives. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna check what this artifact gives real quick. Okay, so I have no idea what this gives. I'm gonna use it because I don't care. It's armor. This is some pretty drippy armor. It is terrible. Hold on. No way. Okay, let me reset. What was his plan? I'm trying to take my kill streak? Okay, that's, that's bad. Speaking of, uh, once you have enough money, which you probably do by now, you've been manor farming, you can follow this path. very nice path you can get some armor and if you have 60 kills you have escaped the abyss basically kill the light keeper die and are wearing a specific armor which I'll show you you can get a cold scythe it is a scythe that does cold damage over time I think I don't know I've, I've never used it I've never fought one either so I'm, I can't tell you if it's good or not. Do I go this way? Wait. No. 
So you'd go the, about the, the way you would go ma go to manor. Slightly different. Gonna take a quite a large detour here in a second. All right, I'm gonna make that detour. So as you can see, we are at this part, which is right before the corpse. Jump down here. Follow this path. And you meet this girl. She a baddie, I know. This armor, far it's way better. Yeah, you can get this cold scythe after a certain amount of kills. Escape the And you're wearing this armor. i this wearing this armor is a requirement. I don't know why. There's no actual way to get out of this spot, so you have to die. Jump into the void. And the armor by itself gives 240 HP. Or not 240. 40 base HP. 45. And then wearing whatever star. Or whatever. Yeah. More, obviously. Apparently that gives 25. I didn't know that. This scarf... Okay, there's another thing. So... As you may have noticed, you can sometimes hear a war horn, or just a horn in the background. So you go from... Foss Fall is the main town. It's where everything is located. So you go from there to up this little grassy plateau. And you can find this. You have some losers, like this guy, who will camp here in hopes of getting items. The items here aren't that good. But this is, you can get, if you're good at PvP. Oh, uh, the one one's gone. I don't remember what my weapon is called. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the bus bogs. Right, as you can see, the war horn is going off, meaning. Okay, so this is called the arena. You can get loot like this guy. Everything he's wearing right now, he got from here. That guy looks very neat. Basically, you can fight people. And not whoever the last one is. It's more like a time. Oh, shit. I mean, uh, oh, shit. So I'm gonna wait this out. Uh. Yeah, I'll be back. Wait, this, this is a good opportunity to show PvP. So, most of PvP is like running around your opponent, getting quick looks in. Spamming a little like that. You press G, you can use potions to heal. Holy crib. I usually don't use potions. I mean, I will if I have to. But I don't like to. You can press F to parry. Uh, parrying in this game, it's not too important, to be honest. It's very useful to use this. That guy is by far the most threatening person here. He's got a sign. And he doesn't seem to be no skill. And he's using a scythe. Holy poop.
There we go. So after a while, approximately like two minutes, that little white gate will pop up. And whoever's the first one into it will get a little bit of money, a little bit of insight, and an item, a random item. I got a Blood Priest cloaked. Also, I don't want to tell you how much, but my heart is beating. I'm going to use this. I have a Blood Priest cloak. Okay, that looks pretty drippy. I'm not going to lie. Um, these items will save through games. I believe. They usually do. And it's a good way to get starter items, especially in, like, low servers. Um... I So, I would recommend doing that. Uh, say you can't do manor yet for reasons. You can always do that. Damn, I have a lot of HP now. Okay. So, you can always do that for items. You know, 1v1 is legal. Alright, so. come into here because I know I said I'll talk about this. Basically, you go to the same person you would to go to the abyss. So I actually have to talk about what we're going to do. So basically, um, say you're unhappy with your build. You did something completely wrong that you can't change, such as a covenant. Which is like an extra skill, right? You can wipe your build. Such as in Debogan, Rogue Lineage... Yada yada yada. So you go down to the crypt of the eye. You go down to the same person who you would normally talk to. God damn it is dark. You go down to the same person who you would no normally talk to for um going to the abyss. In fact, you will be going to the abyss. That is where the white bell. Right, that's how you wipe. So then you go to the abyss. Um this isn't okay so this is a way to wipe right but technically it is called hard mode uh hard mode i don't know exactly what it does i believe it raises the chance of you getting drops so it's good if you want to make an alt account for uh can i get up there i want to research that later so it's good if for making an like an alt account that you want to use to farm yourself artifacts, right? You get yourself the perfect build on a different account. Uh, that's another thing. Any artifact that you have and you leave the game with, say you haven't popped it yet, or like you know used it, you will lose it. Same with dying. Oh, I don't have jack shit on. Hold on. Oh crap! I lost my. I don't want the Blood Priest coat then, that's for sure. Okay, I'll get something later. But, you make your way over here. This time we're gonna go a different path. Same guy we used to get out of the Abyss, except this time. Wait, what the fuck? Oh. So you come this way. Follow the path. Jump down. Who the fuck? Why are you here? Oh, loser. Alright, so you go down here. There's like little hole. And then there is a big thing of fall through bricks. Essentially, you run. It's a lot easier now that they add momentum. This used to be way harder, like extremely difficult. Not extremely. It wasn't as forgiving. It'd be like this time that I miss and you die. Now you run down this god forbidden long bridge. 
and well that is where you learn Akuma you need to be in hard mode to learn though otherwise you just yeah, he just calls you a weakling and you have to duel him and if you lose you wipe right because you have to be in hard mode it's a requirement there's no way to turn off hard mode so if you do accidentally for whatever reason turn it on you're done for you're dead I hate this coat. It looks so bad with metal line. Um. Holy crap! That scared the shit out of me. Holy fuck. I don't know what you're supposed to do there at all. I'm gonna make my way back. Okay. This game, it's very annoying. Alright. You see, you have to, you have to pay... 50 money to get to roll okay so you have to pay 50 insight and 50 money just to reroll your race and then you have to pay 50 money just to get down here and then it's the fact that it's like it's so annoying why do i have to do so much stuff just to do one thing all right you see that the game it has many flaws but it's still a great game You have to point out your flaws or else, you know, bad stuff happens. It'd be like saying you're perfect, even though you're clearly not. It was like, with Rogue Lineage, the, the game was utterly terrible every single, like, every single time I think back on it, that game was utterly terrible, yet somehow I still played it every day. That little thing or whatever that killed me actually scared the hell out of me because I don't remember that. So unless they change Okay. So we make our way down here. Uh yeah, that thing scared me so bad too. Like it just I wasn't paying attention, and I hear this loud bang, and holy, like, what was, I like, did I debate it? What do I do? Like, that thing instant killed me, too. Like, what the? Okay, just travel along the... That, that is... That is so loud for no reason. If these things do the same thing, I'm gonna... I'm gonna piss myself. That's, like, that's guaranteed, alright? Yeah, that, that part is new. That's that's why I was so scared. I guess you just stay on the right side to avoid it. I don't know if it's like random on whether or not the other ones move. I hope not. That'd be terror terrific. Terrific. You know. All right. So now that you're all the way at this the end of this nasty bridge, run up the right, right. And then you come here, and there is a bell. You hold E to ring it jump into the void if you want to wipe of course this is the hard mode though um i'm not going to ring it because i'm a pussy and i don't i like my build i don't know if there's anything else down here besides that i'm checking up real quick i don't usually come down here because you know scary little demon monsters banging the fucking bridge Right, I am not going all the way back, so. Alright. Just gonna escape the abyss real quick and show y'all how to do that one more time. Just in case y'all short my short memory folked fiends get lost for some, somehow. 
Alright, so you go this way. I don't think this game actually has any lore, by the way. Um, because none of this shit makes sense. The abyss does not make sense. It's guarded by some stupid little temple guardian, right? And then it's the fact that this guy named Crow can reroll your race, it doesn't make sense, and also take you down to the abyss. He's like the only way to get down there, too. He's in some fucking sex dungeon. I don't know how much insight this guy takes, so I'm gonna find out right now for y'all. Holy crap. That's fucking bullshit. Holy hell. Slightly better though. I hate it though. Um. Well, that's all for now.